Yeah, excited to, to get our second meet started. I thought last week was a really good opener for our teams and uh, got a lot of rust off, as I've stated. And then we had some really fabulous marks that I think three to five people made the national meet off of last week. So just hoping to continue to get better this week, run a few more people that we didn't run last week, and then just uh, hopefully everybody's improving as we keep going and stay healthy. And you had a couple of uh, athletes that took home some weekly honors. What does that say for the start of the season and how well you guys can springboard that for the rest of the uh, indoor season? Yeah, th those two are, are two of our very best. And I'm just so proud that they, they put in the work over the break too, to be able to come in and to open up their first race. That just means that they, they worked hard over the Christmas break. And that's really hard to do when you're you're in good shape and then you leave for two weeks and then you come back. So, uh, but these guys are wanting to be really good. They're wanting to run pro uh, after their co college careers. So just real proud they came back in the shape they did. What we were talking about earlier, can you kind of address the caliber of the competition this weekend? Yeah, I, I don't think we've had a, a better meet with just, uh, we have a, a, a culmination of about 14 teams, but you know, when you have LSU and Kentucky and, and Miami uh, and Arizona State and, uh, you know, we've got so many teams from the east and then we've got so many from the west. There is Texas Southern, North Texas, Abilene Christian, us. But uh, we've just got teams that have never been here before, mostly Kentucky and Clemson. They've brought pieces before with just one or two or three kids, but they're bringing their whole teams this time. So uh, gonna have some fabulous competition. You're gonna see some national marks, maybe some national best come out of this meeting. What does that say that teams are finding the speed and if you want to uh, run a fast meet, you've gotta come to Robert? Yeah, I think uh, people have figured out that this facility is one of the best facilities in the country. Uh, Clemson has a fast track, but they're also coming here. Uh, they're wanting to get the good competition and run on this track. Uh, LSU comes every every year once. Uh, they know they can qualify here. And, you know, it's a little early in the year to run as fast as we want to run, but uh, a lot of them, like our kids did last week, they're wanting to come and get that mark and get that pressure off of them and get a good qualifying mark. So how does the increase in competition help, you know, get those marks? Well, I think uh, the best thing is we want our competition to get better as we get in better shape. And so we're in a little bit better shape, I think, than we were the first week. And uh, when you bring good teams like this, wow, it makes our kids step up. So it makes a big difference. Like you said, that first meet might have gotten the rust off, but you might have seen some kids qualifying in it. But how has it been to see them get that first meet under their belt and just step forward and yeah, I saw a lot of freshmen that had never run on the boards. Uh, you know, they learn, you learn a lot. Each time you run, you learn more. Uh, the mistakes they made are not made. And so uh, I just think it's just imperative to more. You can't emulate practice like you can a meet. And so to get their adrenaline flowing and to get them going and then to get more experience running on those boards, it just makes a big difference. You have some uh, sprinters and jumpers that didn't compete last week that are they opening up this week? Yeah, we will have uh, Debo Swint, I call him Debo, DeAndre, uh, he will get to run. Uh, I probably won't run Terrence till next week. He's really looking good, but we're gonna open him up and be very careful and limit him a lot on indoors. Uh, but I do think we'll run that. We're gonna run Caleb Dean in the 60, who ran the 60 hurdles last week. Uh, so our sprint group's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, Ashton O'Connor will also open up on the men's side. Uh, I don't think we had any women besides uh, our triple jump. Uh, you know, Anna Susanna will, will triple jump. Uh, Briah Brewer will triple jump. They didn't. They will open up this week. Uh, so I'm real anxious to see that jumps crew and get them going. What about uh, the high jumper from Middle Tennessee? He will not open up this week. Had a little strained hamstring the very first week back. Doing great, about 95% well. Will open up next week. Your high jumper from Maryland. He is hopeful to open up this week. this week. Yes. What's it say that you'll be able to, what are you going to be able to tell after this week about your team on both sides? You know, what this meet does is you see these great people that are going to be at the national meet with you. Uh, so, the, you know, I think last week we had good competition, but a lot of people knew this wasn't the best competition for them, even though they ran well. Now they're going to have better competition uh, side by side with them. Uh, and so uh, it's different uh, to be able to perform under pressure a little more. Uh, it's a great learning experience. So it's going to be a test, and that's what we're going to be able to see is how we handle that. 
You mentioned improvement earlier. Any specific groups that you'd like to see improvement out of from the last meet? I'm anxious to see the women's triple jump. Uh, you know, those two girls get in there and see how well that they can improve. Uh, maybe uh, in the women's long jump also. That's one area. Uh, I mean, uh, I don't know if I want to see them improve, but like Demisha in the hurdles, she qualified and has one of the top. Uh, we have three of the girls with the top three times in the country going to be in this meet. So it's just going to be a fabulous race, uh, I think, in the 60-meter hurdles. Uh, it's just a great track meet. If you're a fan, you're just going to come here, and it's just going to be a fabulous track meet to see in every event. Uh, Caleb Dean, with as many events as he's a legitimate competitor in, uh, how, do you, how, how are you going to train him from week to week and decide what events to focus him on? Or Weird. do you have an idea of... When it gets to late February, yeah, and an outdoor, what do you, what do you think he's going to do? Best? Yeah, great question. I mean, he literally can run the 60, the 60 hurdles, the 200, the 400, and the four by four. He really can do all those things. Uh, you know, he's qualified. I feel in the 60 hurdles already. We definitely are going to try to run him in the national meet in the 60 hurdles. We're, we're anxious. He's got a six six one or two at Maryland in the 60. And uh, I believe he's way better than he was at that time. Uh, so we want to see that 60 this week and make another judgment. He'll run on the mile relay. We're going to try to put together a pretty good men's mile relay. Courtney will run nothing but the 4x4 four four this week. Uh, we're going to see if we can, him and probably uh, maybe one other one. I don't even know if Uda will run anything but the 4x4. Four four. We're going to try to have them fresh and see how we can do. So your 4x4 four four team this week will be? It will be uh, probably Caleb Dean leading off to Courtney, to Shamir Uter, to Nilo Clark. And I probably Nilo will be fresh. So those three may be all fresh. And then we just run uh, Caleb in the 60 and then the 4x4. Four four. So I think we're going to drop the time a lot this week. In there. Hey, Ke I mean, Caleb's best event looking at it. as TFL press page. I mean, 400 hurdles is what he made the NCAA That's what we brought him here for. Yeah. He'd run a 787 maybe in the hurdles, so we thought, okay, he can score at conference in the short hurdles, but now he's a national guy. So uh, I think the 110s and the 400s outside will probably be his events and then run on 4x4. Four four. Y'all good? Thank y'all. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all be fun. <laughs> Getting the first meet of the season under your belt, what's kind of the mentality going into this meet? Um, it's so exciting and overwhelming because um, <laughs> I didn't expect the time, but uh, I believe I, I trained for it. So it was a surprise though, but um, it was kind of shocking because I stopped at 7-1 um, last season and I came last week and I did I started from where I stopped, so it's kind of exciting for me. What does it mean to you to be honored by the Big 12 at the, after the first meet of the season? It's a very big honor and very big opportunity for me. Like, I'm very happy to be um, athlete of the week at the Big 12 conference because uh, many of us here athletes don't have the, that opportunity. But, and I am happy that I made it to be the athlete of the week. You said you surprised yourself going into going into the last week. What, what kind of time were you expecting to run in the 60? What did you what, what did you think? You were so um, before coming out to run, my coach told me to to just move out of the block, execute. Then seven two seven three is okay to open the season, but and I was expecting seven two, but. When I, after the race, I didn't look the time, but when I turned and I was like, people were screaming, and like my friends were screaming happy. When I turned and I saw it, I seven one, I was, I was wow, that was fast. So, um, my coach has been expecting this time. He knows that it's in my body to, to, like, to manifest. So, and he told me, Rosemary, just go there, do your best, and just run your race, and that's what I did. And the time came up pretty good. So. Did you run every phase of the race pretty well? I mean, start, drive, finish, accelerate, finish? So I would say um, no, because um, I just pushed out from the blocks and just did my thing. Like um, After the race, coach called me, coach Rob called me, he was like, Rose, you jogged, you know, right? I said, yeah, coach, I know. <laughs> but he said, but the time was fast. And I said, yes. 
coach is there, but I just have to do what, what I have to do. I don't, I don't need to be, to be test, like to show that yes, I need to put up the work, like to bring out the time. But I just went there, <laughs> easily the time came, so. So, as this week you, you're, you're going to be facing tougher competition, how do you push yourself to be better? Um, I would say I will still be myself. I'm always ready for anything that's coming. So I've been running for um, Nigeria. So I've been running with pros and I've, I've had an experience. So tough people, not tough people, I'm ready. Anything that comes, I'm ready for them. Who's your uh, favorite Nigerian women sprinter <laughs> that you have? Um, her name is um, Lesna Kagbare. Uh, um, she's kind of my mentor, so and I love her. Like she inspires me, and we always talk. And Coach Rob was her coach, and they might know Dudu as well. And they made me to be here today. They told me and they they advised me, they encouraged me to come here. That Coach Coach Rob program will favor me, and, and to be to be sure, is working. Like his program is really good. So Les Nokakbare and Divino Dudu is my mentor and they are the ones that inspired me to come here. Do you know uh, Toby uh, Abbasson? Yeah. Toby have, you been, have you been on the team with her before? Yeah. We talk all the time. She's my... We are together. We are from Nigeria. So yeah. we all communicate. We all talk all the time. Uh, what do you expect from the competition this weekend with the teams who are going to be here? Um, I'll be running the 200 and <laughs> I think they, they should be wide open because they should open their eyes because the 200 I'm, I'm giving my best. I'm breaking the time again because I've trained for it and I've worked for it so the time will show. Thank you Rosemary. Thank, Thank you. you Rosemary. Courtney, uh, Rosemary just said she was surprised that she ran a 7 11 60. Were you surprised she ran a 20 41 200 for the opener? Uh, not really, because we've really been working on it all, all week of practice, the week before the meet. So, I mean, it didn't really come as a shock. It was like I needed to be there for the first meet and the first race. So. I was trying to remember, was, it, was that your indoor PR, though? Yeah. Yeah. It's 2045. 2045 is the first one, yeah. yeah. Uh, how much are you looking forward to the competition this weekend with the teams? Um, very excited. Uh, it's going to be a good meet. You know, it's going to bring a lot of a lot of new PRs out, a lot of new people that get to run. So it's exciting. What does it mean to you to have the uh, first Big 12 honor of the season along with Rosemary? Uh, it means a lot. You know, it's the first step is thrown in the season, so it's it's a great way to start the season, you know, and it shows what what we're capable of and what we got in store for this season. So. Wes said last week this is like the deepest, as deep a sprint sport this has ever had. Mm -hmm. How would you kind of uh, size up what you guys have with the sprinters? Uh, I would agree with that. It's probably, it's pretty deep, you know, it's pretty, it, it gets competitive at practice, so, you know. I, I, would, I would agree, like, it's probably the deepest we've probably had in sprints. We got about five, six guys that run six fives, so six sixes. So, yeah. so, where are you on where you feel? Are you where at a level where you can think you can maintain? Or do you still think there's speed in the tank? Oh, there's a lot more in the tank. I feel like, this, yeah, we're just getting started, so there's, there's, there's a lot more in the tank. So, what's your goal? Run fast and win. That's my goal. <laughs> no time. No time. Just, just win every race and be happy and leave the meet healthy. That's my goal. Obviously. Get that, that first meet under your belt this past week and kind of get those nerves out of the way going into a big meet this winter. Uh, it's always good to get the first meet out of the way. You know, you, I don't care who you are. You're always gonna have jitters in the first meet. So it's, you know, it's always good to get the first one out of the way. And, focus on the next one and the next one, so it was felt great. 
obviously a higher level of competition at this next meet, but what's the competition like between teammates here? Uh, it's very, like I said, it's very competitive. Uh, like, but we, we, we help each other work, we help each other get better. So I like the energy that we're bringing this year and it should be a very special season. What does uh, Dondre Swint add to your game? What's that? What does Dondre Swint add to your game? A lot of speed, a lot of speed, a lot of goofiness. Like he he brings the team. He's, he came in and made himself one of the leaders here. So pretty nice having him here. So yeah. How does it feel to have such a team that if you're not running your best, you've got somebody behind you? that can continue to show that they got speed, they got to be back. Uh, it feels good, because one week you might not, you know, track is black and white, so one week you might not have it, the teammate can pick your slack up, so it feels great to have that on our team, so, yeah. What have you, the last couple of years, uh, I mean, now you've been here a couple of years, just starting the third year, uh, what have you kind of learned about, uh, you know, running in Texas Tech? How comfortable are you now? Their first year? Uh, I would say I'm very comfortable here. Very. Uh, I would say you gotta run fast here. They like they like you to run fast here, so you know, I trust my coaches. They trust me, so I'm very comfortable. Alrighty, thank you guys. Appreciate it.